Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I like to wear my sunglasses when Kabam does shady things and so many of you over the years have told me that Kabam's uh, biggest shade has come in the form of how they treat Cavalier players. And the fear is with Thronebreaker that they're now going to be the next Cavalier and Cavalier of course is going to be sunk to the bottom of the ocean and that's probably true, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of you sent over the Cavalier offers, but I'm going to shout out the person that I'm using his screenshots for, specifically Earth25 or XX Earth 25 a longtime supporter of the channel. Thank you, sir. So uh, you can also see right now that he only has claimed in his inbox the 30,000 doubloonies. You can get over 2.5 million, and if you want to see how I spent 2.5 million in uh, less than 15 minutes, just check out my opening video on the channel that I posted earlier today. In the meantime, 506 star shards and one tier one alpha for 6,000 doubloonies. Not good enough for the precious 30,000 doubloonies. Really, if you're Cavalier, if you buy units this weekend, spend them, I don't care what it takes, to complete Act 6. That should be your number one goal. I am giving you homework as your MCOC college professor. Complete Act 6 and spend as many units as it takes for revives. You'll be so thankful to complete Act 6. And then, after that, some of you maybe already completed Act 6, but you still need to get yourself a Rank 3 6-star champion. So, you are locked in on only one kind of deal in that case, and that is Tier 5 Class Catalyst Selectors, not Fragment Crystals Selectors. So, Bundle 1 isn't going to help you with that. Neither is Bundle 2, and I think that price is way too high. Bundle three, this is what I, I want to just sometimes, and I know it sounds kind of violent, but I want to metaphorically wring Kabam's neck because they still treat Cavalier players like they care about five stars. And maybe if you're just now becoming Cavalier, you do. But the people who are close to becoming Thronebreaker, don't. Not the ones that I talk to. They don't care about five star rank up gems or five star Nexus crystals or five star shards. They're thinking about nothing but six stars. So in that case, even though I would argue, in a, and I continue to in videos and in this video, that five stars are the best value for your rank up for the damage that they can do, and I think they always will be, as those uh, materials continue to become even cheaper, I just don't see why somebody's like, oh, five star shards, I'm so glad I'm Cavalier. Yeah, I said nobody ever. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is a no-brainer bundle, and we know it's a no-brainer bundle for Cavalier players because it's a one-of-one one purchase limit. Kabam has tried to keep a pretty restrictive paywall behind Cavalier players because they know that, at least at the beginning, and maybe it's flipped now, because I, I do meet quite a few people who have multiple rank 3 6 stars but just haven't completed Act 6, which now is the weekend to do that. But they know, at the beginning that this was the paywall that kept people. The 25% Tier 5 Class Cows from Selector was only open to Thronebreaker players for a long time. It is now open to you. This is the only thing that I'm going to endorse with 100% certainty for Cavalier players if you have any shot at becoming Thronebreaker this weekend. Save all your other doubloonies for Thronebreaker offers. You will have so much more value for your currency. It's not even funny. Um... But this is the A-plus value so far. And again, I think Kabam knows it, which is why it's a one-of-one one purchase limit. Uh, rank up 5-star gem and 5-star 6 stones for 262000 I think this is more than a 6-star generic awakening gem for Thronebreaker players. Think about that for a second. Wow. That is an F grade. Total trash for that, for that many. Um, tier 5 basic. A decent amount of 6-star shards. That's fine if you're not going to become Thronebreaker. That's a better value. Uh... A 5-star Nexus and Tier 2 Alpha, skip hard pass for Bundle 7. Bundle 8, all RNG for 6-star six 6-stone six crystals, skip that BS. Uh, again, 5-star six 6-stones, six which you can get easily in the game, and 6-star shards, skip Bundle 9. Bundle 10, ooh. Ha ha ha. Bundle 10 is 45,000 doubloonies. Let's do some math. All right, so you can get up to 40% of a Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Selector. And if you were to even get, I mean, obviously, if that is your hiccup as a Thronebreaker player, or to become Thronebreaker, it's just taking a 6-star to rank 3, and that's the scenario we're talking about here. 
you need to calculate the percent that you need of a selector and buy the minimum needed to take that six star to rank three. That's the only goal for you in these stores. But let's say that it is a 40% goal, which would be a pretty high goal, right? A 40% goal. Well, that means that you're going to spend 180,000 doubloonies and where is it? There it is. This is 112,000 for 25%. 112,000 for 125% or 90,000 for a 20 percenter. It's better to get two of these. If you only need 20 percent, obviously, it's better to get two of these than one of the other. That's a better value for your for your doubloonies. Wow. So you can get up to 65 percent of a tier five class catalyst selector from both of those. That's awesome. Six star awakening gem crystal and a six star crystal. See, this is why bundle number 12 is such a ridiculous value for throne breakers, because this is the price that it always is normally. But for us, it was like 250,000 doubloonies. It was unbelievable. Um, it's RNG based. Both of these are. Not the guaranteed value you think. I'm going to give that a C grade. Uh, ugh, anything with five star shards is a D. And then here are the Cavalier Nexus crystals with ISO with them. Ooh. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bundle number 14, save the best for last. This thing is amazing. You can get up to a 50% purchase limit of a tier 5 class Catalyst Fragment Selector. This is what we've been asking for for Cavalier players. Finally, since they have a new progression title out, they're opening up the, uh, the war chest of tier 5 class Catalyst Fragment Selectors. If you have the cash, you now have no excuse as a Cavalier player to take a 6-star to rank 3 because you can get over 100% selector between all the offers. This thing, and I know ISO is maybe for a lot of people not really needed, just ignore the ISO. This thing for 30,000, first off, with your free doubloonies, buy this thing up immediately. Um, this is awesome. This is really, really good. This is the best value. 150,000 max doubloonies for all five. Yes, this is the Take Me to Thronebreaker bundle number 14. Cavalier players finally got that. This, rank 1 to rank 2, rank up gem and 6-star nexus. Again, for the price, you can get so much more if you're a Thronebreaker. Your entire goal should be Thronebreaker. And that that's two goals. Use the units. If you purchase unit offers or you grind the arena, use the units to get to... Uh, clear or just complete Act 6, no matter how many revives it takes, it's worth it, and then buy bundle number 14 straight away. I'm really happy for Cavalier players. In years past, it was like one selector that was a 10% selector and it cost you all of your side quest currency. Now, now that Thronebreaker is the new Cavalier, they're opening up the floodgates of those selectors. Thank God. Thank God there's not a bunch of crystals in here. Ugh. Uh, all right, let's end it here. Earth 25, XX Earth 25, thanks again for the info. No brainer on what to choose. Start with bundle 14. Save all the rest of your doubloonies for Thronebreaker offers, and you will thank me personally as the guide to maximizing your side quest currency or side event currency or main event currency, whatever currency you want to call it. It's the doubloonies, and they're available for three days this weekend. Push that account, progress. You'll be so thankful you did.